G'day okay guys, Cam here from the fishroom.co.nz and today we're just going to do a really, really quick video of my two aquariums that I have inside and tell you about this bit of the placement that I've got for the next set that are coming through. Hope you enjoy it. The Fish Room, helping you keep beautiful aquariums. So this is the black water tank. It's incredibly hard to do videos of. So as you can see my fingers, it reflects really easy. And it's got a lot of lighting on it. You might be able to hear Junior Fish Keeper chatting away behind me. That's why it's got to be a quick one today, because I'm in charge of him. Anyway, I've got half a dozen Rasbora in here. And if I take enough time, long enough, we will see. A bunch of curly lodges, there's about 10 or so in here somewhere. Yeah. Got a stack of crypts growing. Oh, yeah. Athens, Lance, yeah. Celata. And I'm still on no one on that one. Plenty of leaf litter, plenty of mom going through it now. During your fish keepers, you've just escaped out the door. Hold on, gotta turn the phone off. Alright, I've got them safely in my arms now. As you can see right there. So I have found some chocolate garamis, which I'm pretty stoked about. So they are in quarantine at the moment. So I'm going to be putting them in here. The Indian fern grows really well. I take a whole bunch out every couple of weeks. And then if you can see up here, I've decided to put a little bit of java moss on, oh, moss. Java moss on top. I just want to see how it grows. Uh, the water level normally goes just to the bottom of it. So just a little evaporated at the moment. So I'll top that back up over the weekend. Um, so it should keep itself wet and I'm hoping that it grows quite well. Sorry, I was looking at the plant then, not the, there you go. I was looking at the plant, not the screen. Um, yeah, so the water level is normally just below where the moss itself is. So I'm hoping that it'll grow fairly well. And I'm particularly immersed on that rock, on the wood, sorry. So now I'll just bring pan us down. Spora. There's half a dozen. I think I need to get another dozen of them. So I bought them as SBI. Not quite as bright as what I was hoping, but they're doing what they need to do in there. There's plenty. Of crevices and whatnot for the trulies to get lost in. I don't see them as often as I used to, but they're definitely still in here. Plenty of algae growing, which I'm really happy with. Really think it gives that natural look. I'm interested to know what you guys think this stuff is. There's my finger there. Originally, I thought they were snails, but they definitely aren't snails. I'm not certain what they are. It's pretty straight the other day. I was looking along here. Probably can't quite see it on the camera. Oh, there. Right in the middle there. They look like weird little freshwater sponges or some sort of uh, organism that was growing on the wood, which I was really, really happy with. Uh, to me, it's about making that natural environment, and that is part and parcel of it. And then I looked around somewhere else, and I saw some more as well, so I was pretty stoked with that. I'll leave this one and I'll go have a look at the other tank. And so in here we've got a large blackwater aquarium. So I finally managed to sell my rack that I had in my fish room. So this is going to move out, out there. I'm thinking it's probably going to end up being a big frontosa tank because I really like frontosa. But in the meantime, it's still inside. No. No. Plicos, an angelfish, more plecos, plenty of mom hanging around on it. Uh, yeah. Sorry, 
really like this tank. I really like the wood look. The angel is growing really, really nicely. So I'm, I'm really happy with it. Comes and goes with the water clarity. Sometimes it's clear. Other times it's average. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the, the black water style of it. I haven't tried to lower the pH too much on this tank. Uh, the other one I am in the process of lowering a little bit using RODI water and some rain water and stuff like that to to really bring stuff down a little bit especially when I get the chocolate grammies I'm not so happy with them being in the sort of mid sevens I like to be in the high sixes but for this one I'm pretty happy in the mid sevens those angels look really pretty there's at least two pairs in there one continue to clean off up here and don't give me anything and the other ones spawn on that and have eggs and I can't do anything with them uh, obviously a little boy so I noticed the other day there was some java fern growing on here it must have just got down to rhizomes and now the leaves are coming back through which is kind of cool get out of it stop it So there's about a dozen pleco in here of various sorts. Piratibas, which are stunningly cool fish. I think there's about 15 angelfish. Um, down there somewhere there's macaw still. Over here, the chibula cara. Who's been a bit weird recently, he's just sitting in this corner not really swimming. Still eating plenty. They just seem to just sit and do nothing else. There's another Pleco sitting in there. So anyway, this is my main display tank in my house. It's going to be outside very soon. And this is where I'm going to put the new twin rack system. So I've got two tanks. One of a Danio Blackwater style tank set up in the corner and above it there will be um, silver mollies so I've got the silver mollies in quarantine at the moment and I've got most of the fish I need for the Danio tank I've only got a male and female Danio so I'm going to try and spawn them get to about 30 or so that's my next little project I've found someone who's quite happy to build a rack for me I don't do DIY building because I'm absolutely mud useless at it but it's going to go into here so it's going to get to about here but these are that box from the corner about a meter long and it's going to sit to about here so a couple tanks one will be a nice black water attempted to do another sort of habitat type style one and then the silver molly tank um i'm thinking i'm probably just going to do um maybe a slightly more bright and cherry one a little bit of wood not too much but a little bit of wood a few rocks and some plants so that's kind of all you're getting because there's just nothing there at the moment but that's look what i'm doing and just before you go just down under by the heater there i've put a really small red bar clay so i'm really hoping that it takes off it's directly under the light it gets plenty of natural daylight um, so i'm hoping there might be enough sun for it to grow and then fill in up through this bit through here so fingers crossed uh, that's just a quick uh, chat about the two aquariums that I've got inside um, nothing too special but I hope you enjoyed it if you have please subscribe give it a like if you've got any questions please bang them in in, in the question area because I'm happy to answer them anyway, I better go deal with doing a fish keeper everyone guys have a fish keeper catch you later